11-year-old Arus was just an average, ordinary young girl. She daydreamed all the time, especially about someday becoming a magician. And she was also the kind of girl who considered school to be a bore. But then one day, something suddenly flashed across the sky above her. And according to Arus, a never-before-seen magical world opened up before her eyes. Once upon a time, I was an ordinary kid, hauling my books off to grammar school every morning. The real world was such a drag. I'd always think to myself, boy, if only there was such a thing as magic. In fact, deep down inside, I believed that it did exist. And they say if you wish for something long enough, miracles happen. And to prove it, I'm now in what can only be called a magical world. <sighs> Where am I? Hmm, <laughs> must be a dream. <gasps> wow, look how cute you are. Come here. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm not gonna hurt you. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey, you wanna try my favorite snack? It's really sweet. Hang on a second. <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. If I'm in a world of magic, then there must be witches here too, right? Attention all apprentice witches! Huh? No way! Is this for real? You want to hand over the fairies you've captured at once. <gasps> hey! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this has to be a dream! They captured an apprentice witch? Really? I heard that she was getting in the way of the witches capturing fairies inside the Forbidden Forest! That can't be. You mean... <laughs> witches do this? But he hates it! In any case, let me go! What did I do? Now, Sheila, were you supposed to be the discipline officer in charge of District A? Don't come crying to us if they punish you for slacking off on the job. I'm sorry. Oh, and as for the girl's punishment, you're in charge, so I'm leaving the decision to you. Make sure you give us a report later. Sorry about this. Hold on. Hey! I can't believe this. They're supposed to be witches? Or so they say. Huh? I've never seen you around here, sweetheart. Sweetheart? Where do you study under? I'm a fifth grader. What do Don't you mean? Don't play dumb. I want to know where you train in magic. Huh? Magic? Uh, on my own? No way! You too, sweetheart? Well, guess what? So did I! <laughs> Great, but can you stop calling me sweetheart like that? In other words, you flunked out, right? What? Uh, uh... Listen, if you want to be a failure, that's your business. But some of us are training hard, and we don't appreciate Hold you... on a sec. Whatever you're talking about sounds like gobbledygook to me. Anyway, who are you? 
Fine, I'll tell you. I'm in charge of the District A Witches. I'm also the Discipline Officer. Why were you in the Forbidden Forest? The Forbidden Forest? Why did you interfere with us capturing fairies? Capturing fairies? Come on, you wanted that Mina fairy's tale for yourself. Me? Success! We've caught the last of the 100 fairy species, the Mina fairy. Excellent. I shall go inform the Grand Master. Yes, ma'am. The Mina is quite a valuable fairy, one that rarely appears. How did you manage to find it? Actually, uh, this one was found by an apprentice witch. Oh, such diligence must be rewarded. Just who was this witch? The thing is, uh, I wasn't sure whether or not to report it, ma'am, but this apprentice witch actually tried to stop us from taking the fairy. I see, so she's a rebel. Sorry, I overcooked the eggs again. It's fine, Mom. I'm eating chestnuts anyway. Hey, I was watching that. Sorry. News. The famed Moai statues of Easter Island are on the brink of destruction. Wait, Easter Built Island? What's wrong? Ago, Spot someone else who left you flat? Oh, this is great. My own daughter making fun of me for being a lousy mother who can't cook and whose husband ran off on her. No, it's way too early for this. Look, someday I'll bring Daddy back here with my magical powers, okay? Arus, you need to clip those fingernails. Not gonna happen. Sure, I keep my nails long so I can eat my favorite snack, chestnuts. But it's more than that. Listen, the point is nobody ever said life was fair. There are haves and there are have-nots. Some people out there are strong and some are weak. It's survival of the fittest. Lately I realized something. In a world like this, you have to believe in magic, or else you've got no hope of living a happy life. Every time I give you a test, all I seem to write are these big red Fs. Watch out or your face will turn red too. <laughs> Professor! What is it? Is it cool if I do some magic? Magic? <laughs> Presto! <laughs> What'd you do that for? <laughs> Come on, I was just playing Come around. Get you. Get back here, <laughs> young lady. You are disrupting this. <laughs> Don't you worry, Yamada. Now everybody's red. <laughs> oh. I got your book. <laughs> hey, that's mine. <sighs> <laughs> you better give it back or no chest that chocolate for you on Valentine's Day! <laughs> What's going on with me? <laughs> Stop! If you want this thing back, then you gotta say you're sorry. No way! You're the ones who should be apologizing to me! <laughs> hey, be careful! <laughs> She's gone. She's freaking vanished. And then, when you woke up, you found yourself in the Forbidden Forest? Forbidden Forest, Forbidden Fruit, I don't know what you call it, but that's what happened. Hey, Sheila, you think this little sweetheart might actually be... Is that your explanation? Huh? Everything you've said is nonsense. If you're not an apprentice witch, what are you? Are you a fairy, a demon, a tree, a bush? Hey, that's not cool. Witches are supposed to be happy. You do know how to smile, don't you? I mean, if you can't even smile yourself, how can you use your magic to make other people happy? Hmm, <laughs> forget it. Stay locked up if you want. Are you sure that girl's a witch? I heard where you come from, you have nuts you can actually eat. Is that true? Nuts that you can eat? Oh, like these? Ooh, <laughs> they're my favorite. Go on, try one. <laughs> it's so sweet, it melts in my mouth! <laughs> You know, if you really want to thank me for it, then I know something you can do. What? I don't know where that apprentice witch came from, but we can't look after her, nor would we want to. As leader of the Discipline Squad, I recommend that we keep her locked away here forever. Whoa! Oh, oh, you're doing it wrong! Straddle uh -huh. it! You gotta straddle it to fly! Oh, like this? How could that not hurt? Who said you could let her out of her cage? But Sweetheart asked me to. She wanted to try flying and gave me a chestnut, so... A chestnut? Yeah, it's a nut, but it's so sweet. You know, Sheila, I bet she'd give you one if you... An edible nut? You mean... That's right! Like she said, she's a human! A huh? human? Ah! 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 Impossible! You can't 
be a human. Well, it's a lot more believable than someone like you being a witch. Then how is it you can fly? Human beings can't fly. Didn't you know? As long as you believe with all your heart, anybody can use magic. Whoa! I mean, how could I come to this magical world of human if it is just a dream? Hold her down, Eva. Grab her. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. After all, I'm just dreaming. <laughs> I hate to tell you, but it's not a dream. Huh? What's that? This isn't a dream? Otherwise, a mere human couldn't use magic. And she wouldn't huh? be here in the first place. So none of this is actually happening. No! I'm telling you guys, this is real! <laughs> come back here! Hey! The day has finally come for a witch realm to be blessed with the tale of a mina fairy, and right, boss? With the chit chat. Just chop that thing off. Gotcha, boss. some good news, Grandmaster. The ferry issue, I presume? I trust you will be pleased. With today's capture of Amina Ferry, all 100 species are in our custody. You just did. Huh? By letting the fairies go, you have... Why were you catching them anyway? We catch them because it's a time-honored magical tradition. Why else? Oh. Huh? It's coming. Coming? <gasps> uh, it's here. What's going on? I don't know. What are you asking me for? The tower's uh, gonna fall! Uh, 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 start running! Wait! What about my broom? Hey! time here. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Hey, are you serious? Are you just gonna leave me hanging like this? I see you haven't managed to cure yourself of that particular habit, have you, Atelia? Huh? Uh. The holding facility's been destroyed! Oh, I heard fairies have escaped! That much is obvious. Yeah, obvious! Atelia, what in the world is going on? The holding facility is under your jurisdiction. I know that. Who's the culprit? An apprentice witch from District A! You're in charge of that district as well. Incredible! Betrayed by one of your own witches? Execute her! Arrest her and execute her! <laughs> and exactly what good would come of executing her? Yes! Of course you're right! That was a really stupid idea! 
Our entire realm is in danger now. I don't care if you're a civilian or the girl who did this. All members of the witch tribe are to go and capture those fairies. Immediately. I will give the order at once. One moment. What is it? As members of the witch tribe, we all have an interest in those fairies. To possess fairies means to possess power. That's why we cannot allow civilians to learn of their loss. If we do, rebels will try to seize the fairies and defy our will. You're out of line, Atelia. Never mind that. Atelia, since you presume to speak in such a manner, you must have some alternate plan. I certainly do. We can no longer leave such grave matters to incompetent fools who can't control a mere apprentice witch. I will therefore recruit the best of our combat witches to form an elite capture squad and reclaim the lost fairies. All I ask is that you ensure the civilians remain in the dark about the fairies' escape. Oh. <sighs> so, uh, listen. Let me make it clear. I didn't save you out of kindness. Oh, come on. Sorry about this. Don't leave me! This is unbelievable. Hey, quit looking for them. They escaped. Just let them go. Huh? Stop interfering. Damn it. It's not because fairies are needed for magic or out of some magical tradition. It's not about wanting to capture them. None of that matters to me. I just want to be a great witch, a leader. I worked my butt off learning everything I could, including magic. I didn't even want to be discipline officer, but I still did it. I won't let this bring me down. I can't throw away all I've worked for. <sighs> Sheila, you better not. If you use that kind of spell, the fairies are gonna... They're just gonna faint. <sighs> We fairies have had enough of being manipulated by witches like you. He can talk? It's telepathy! Today is the day we fairies celebrate our independence! Like that. Why are you still with us? Don't complain, uh, okay? Shut up! Uh. Wow! So this really is the land of witches! This is awesome! Hey, over there! What's that building? What do you think they're gonna do with us? How would I know? So, so is the Grandmaster Lady really cool? Does she have long nails? Would you shut up? I bet she's super cool! I mean, she's the ultimate top witch, right? So then, you're the ones who allowed the fairies to escape? We didn't let them escape, they just went yes, on their own! Yes, ma'am, it was us! How could you, Sheila? As discipline officer of District A, you of all people know how important those fairies are. And how keeping them locked up affects everyone in the witch realm. I know that, ma'am. And yet you let this happen. I am very disappointed <sighs> in you. I have sympathy for all of you, but you must be punished! What'd you do? That was the curse of eternal youth. Eternal youth? A curse? If you wish the curse to be lifted, you must recapture every last one of those runaway fairies. Get going! Yeah, get going! <laughs> no, wait a second! Now, I don't like the idea of you guys kidnapping those fairies, but you know what? These two did everything they could to get them back. So what do you do? You cast a spell so they can never grow up. Don't you think that's childish? You can't talk to her like that! Magic is supposed to make people happy. How can you make people unhappy and call yourself a witch? Mm, I don't believe this. Maybe it is a bad dream after all. Huh? There's no way this messed up place is really a magical world. Who are you? Who in the world are you? 